I don't think it would come as any surprise to anyone that the top 15 best-selling electric cars worldwide this year are primarily BYD, GAC, and Tesla electric cars. Now, many people believe that EV sales have been shrinking, but sales from GAC, BYD, and Tesla have continued to grow at a rapid pace. If you were to listen to the global media right now, you would believe something completely false, that EV sales are going down. However, EV sales actually grew by 23% in the month of September, and sales figures for October suggest those sales increases that we saw in September have actually continued and expanded. EV sales in China for the month of October were significantly higher than September. So were EV sales in the UK, Germany, and a number of other European countries. So is it really true what they're telling you? What CNBC and all the other news networks are saying that EV sales are slowing? Are the Volkswagen Group really telling you the truth? Well, no. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And to give you some context here, you know, more than half of the world's electric car sales are in China. So the reality here is EV sales are growing, in fact, quite quickly, but the key beneficiaries to those sales growth numbers are Chinese EV companies, BYD, Tesla, and actually some European manufacturers who have grown their sales significantly while no one else realized it was happening. In the UK though, for example, EV sales improved by 33% in October of 2023. One in every four new cars was electric. And so far this year, Tesla's Model Y is the fifth best-selling car in the country. It's pretty close to fourth place. But in many countries throughout Europe, the Tesla Model Y is the best-selling vehicle, period. In China, it's the best-selling EV so far this year. However, Chinese EV manufacturers continue to grow at a rapid pace, and they are supplanting or taking away sales in particular from American, Japanese, and European car manufacturers in the country. And it's worth keeping this in mind, that because 28 million cars are sold every year in China and the global auto market is only 70 million cars, the Chinese car market is extremely important. It does represent trends happening. Global EV registrations were up 23% in September of 2023, rising to nearly 1.3 million. Now, preliminary sales data would suggest we hit around 1.4 million in October. That's a new all-time record. And that means that EVs represented just over 12% market share. However, surprisingly, car sales worldwide have still not returned to pre-COVID levels. So, car sales are still relatively low in comparison to what they have been historically. And that could be part of the reason that manufacturers believe EV sales are not selling as well as they should be or, or what they expected, simply because car sales in general haven't grown in the way that most people, or at least analysts and experts have expected. Now, the key thing to keep in mind though, is that while 12.5% of all cars sold were fully electric, 29% had some form of electrification. So what are the 20 best selling electric cars in the world this year? The Tesla Model Y is miles out ahead in first place with 121,260 deliveries. Now we're speaking for September so far. So this chart, this top list here is just for September alone. Second place was the BYD at 03. That was followed by the BYD Seagull, then the BYD Dolphin, which was followed by the GAC Aeon Y. Then next was the Tesla Model 3. Tesla didn't sell many Model 3s, of course, in September because it hadn't been manufacturing them. It was tooling up for the new version of the Model 3. So the Highland should see a bit of a bump, probably a significant bump to Tesla sales in November and December this year. Next was the GAC Aeon S, followed by the Wuling Bingo, the Wuling Hongwa Mini EV, 
the Volkswagen ID4 was next, and that was followed by the BYD Song EV and the BYD Chin Plus EVs. Now, as you can see, that list is dominated by Tesla and BYD and Aon. So we have basically GAC, Tesla, and BYD dominating the global electric car market. It's really worth mentioning this. I've talked about GAC in the past. They are now part of this big three with Tesla. Really interesting to see their growth rate, which has been spectacular over the past six months. Now looking at the top 20 best selling cars, or at least the top 15. Now looking at the top 15 best selling electric cars this year, for the whole year, for the first nine months of the year, the Tesla Model Y is way out in first place with nearly 900,000 deliveries. It may in fact be the best selling car in the world this year. We're not too sure yet, but it looks like that's very likely. Second place is the Tesla Model 3, surprisingly, with 386,000 deliveries. And that was followed by the BYD Addo 3 with 301,000 deliveries. Then the BYD Dolphin was next with 250,000. The GAC Aeon S was, was next with 182,000. Wuling's Hongwan Mini EV, which is obviously a tri-venture, joint venture with General Motors, a SAIC or SAIC, and with Wuling, that was next with, yeah, 169,000 deliveries. And that was followed up by the JAC Aon Y. Next was the Volkswagen ID4 with 134,716. That was followed surprisingly by the BYD Seagull. Now the Seagull has only been on sale for around about five months. If it had been on sale for the full nine months of the year, it could have been in the top five or six best-selling EVs. And it's only sold in China. Imagine if BYD sold it outside of China. It's been a huge success for, for the company. Next, we have the Chang'an Lumen. That's a small electric vehicle for Chinese buyers only with 95,000 deliveries. The Wuling Bingo had 92,540. That was followed by the BYD Chin Plus with around 89,800 deliveries. Then you have the Volkswagen ID3 with 89,400. And that was followed by the Audi Q4 e-tron with 77,000. So if we're looking at these top 15 best-selling EVs, they're all, right, they're all Tesla, BYD, and Chinese EV makers. But then we have really just those two models from Volkswagen, the ID3 and the ID4. And, and those obviously are well down, you know, nearly last place, not far from the bottom of the table. So clearly here, China, Tesla, BYD are taking over this EV segment. The Volkswagen Group say that their EV backlog has shrunk significantly. So ID3 and ID4 sales may continue to shrink because apparently Volkswagen are making less of them now. Uh, they're saying there's not as much demand for them for whatever reason. Probably could be because they're a little bit expensive. And keep in mind, MG are not on this list, but MG are likely to hit this list next year. The MG4 is selling incredibly well. The Dolphin, that's being exported to many countries overseas. The new Seal is coming out. You have the Addo 3 sales increasing significantly. Over the past 12 months, it's not very likely we're gonna see any uh, legacy automakers in this list. Very likely that BYD, Tesla, uh, GAC with Aon uh, are gonna just continue increasing sales numbers. So you're probably gonna get more and more Western automakers such as Toyota, for example, say things like, oh, we told you EV sales weren't, they weren't growing. We told you that it was too early, that EVs aren't ready for the public. The public don't really want them. The statistics actually say that's categorically false. EV sales this year have grown significantly versus last year. Looking at the top selling EV brands, BYD and Tesla were neck and neck. Both had around about 150,000 electric car sales in September. Tesla 154,000 and BYD sales were around about 150,000. So they're both making a similar number of actual pure electric cars, which is really quite a tight race, but they are growing their lead over many of the automakers behind them. However, important to note here, GAC Aon, who I've mentioned, they have now leapfrogged many of their rivals and they're the third largest EV manufacturer in the world in September with 51,000 deliveries, all of them to China. Imagine if they were selling these EVs, which are actually pretty good outside of China as well. 
Next, you've got BMW with 48,908 sales. SGMW was after them with 43,208, followed by Volkswagen with 40,000, Mercedes with 37,000, Chang'an with 36,700, Leoto, all plug-in hybrids, by the way, with 36,000, Saic, 35,000, Geely, 32,000, Audi, 25,000, Kia, 22,000, Hyundai 20,600, Volvo 20,500, Toyota 17,000, Ford 17,000, Leap Motor 16,900, Neo 19,500, and Xpunk 15,433. Now this list here has come to us from Clean Technica, and I've got to make the point here that that is misleading information. They've said they're EVs, but they're not. This EV, this so-called EV list is actually plug-in hybrids now i've removed the plug-in hybrid sales from my number that i've revealed that i've given to you in regards to byd but i have not been able to do that for all the other manufacturers if you actually remove plug-in hybrids and hybrid sales from this list the chinese e manufacturers are completely dominating along with of course tesla so those are the results so far for this year and if you're an ev fan like me then they're actually really good positive numbers EV sales are definitely growing. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.